I took a pretty nasty, nasty spill last night. Yeah, so wait. You went to see Thor. Your wife's fingering herself in the theater. And then you... He's 6'3". He's the sweetest guy. I saw him with two girls walking down Ventura Avenue. I was like, mm, he doesn't walk down Ventura Avenue. We make no. $20 million a fucking movie. Yeah. It's Rodeo. Wrong street. <laughs> <laughs> so... And then... And then um, so... So I did... I got out of control at the movie theater and I bought about 50 to $60 worth of candy. That's an important part of the story because it's part of where I just didn't understand what was going on. So I have M&M's, peanut M&M's, Raisinets, Butterfingers, chocolate covered almonds, all in my pockets. Okay? Can I just say something? Yeah. You are on the cusp of being healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all in my pockets. Yeah. We get home. And Isla goes to the door first, walks in the kitchen, and locks the door. And I go, Isla. And she, I can hear her laughing. So I press in the code, uh, 6969. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> what if that was our house code? <laughs> Get in. <laughs> I press in the code. And as soon as it unlocks, she locks it again. And I start laughing. This is like the thing with my girls is when they bully me, it makes me laugh uncontrollably. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things, and I start laughing hysterically. George and Isla, George and Leanne are outside with me, and I go, Isla, and she starts, I can hear her laughing on the other side. Press the code again, she locks it, and I go, fuck her, I'm gonna run around back and go in through the back sliding glass door. She hears that, and as I start to run away, she opens the door. Georgia and Leanne go in, and I go running to get to the door, and they slam it closed, and I catch my toe on the step, and I fall, my head hits the door jam, the side of my head hits the door jam, my arm hits the potted plant, I break the potted plant, roll down the stairs, and, I, and I'm just like, and I hear them laughing, they don't even know I fell. And I'm on the ground, and Leanne thinks I'm on the ground laughing, and then she comes out, she's like, oh my God, did you fall? And I don't remember, I don't remember, I don't remember, I remember being in my bed and I was like, he needs to go to emergency room. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. And I convinced everyone I was fine. And then admit, for a second, I was like, wait, I don't remember how I got here. Like, I don't remember how I got here. Like, I remember saying to Leanne, I'm going to take a nap. I remember getting up and going, I'm going to go get my Fitbit, but I don't have a Fitbit. I have a whoop. Yeah. And I walked to the man cave and I got, I put my whoop on. Like, I, this was like, I was so disoriented. And then I, I, don't, I got into a robe, and I got in bed. Isla was. Georgia, the second it happened, Georgia, Georgia screen grabbed it from the Nest Cam, and I sent it to our family and was like, send your prayers. That's the first thing she sends. But here's one of the confusing things. I remember landing on the ground, and I remember there being M&Ms everywhere. And I was like, how did these M&Ms get here? Like, I didn't realize... My pockets were filled with M&Ms. Yeah. So, so like I wake up, I'm like kind of wake up and I'm like, what is fucking happening? So you got knocked out? I, w I think, I have the video, I'll show you the video. So this is me, you're going to have to kind of scroll in a little bit because it's a pretty wide shot. So this is the backyard. You can hear audio, I think. And then they go in, I go, son of a bitch, and then this is me. Yeah. Wait, is that paused? No, no, I'm just there. No, I know, but <clears throat> how long does that stay like that for? Uh, hit play. I'm they may they may have just edited it. So I'm like, "Oh fuck, I'll get it." And then I just boom, bam. And then <clears throat> there's a longer video. Leanne comes out. I was out, I was out for a little bit. So you were out. I don't know. Like, That's is the that crazy is thing that, about a head injury? There? Yeah. Oh. The crazy thing about a head injury is like it's scary, man. You don't you don't know what happened. And so then I like. Can you imagine if something really had happened to you, and I was just like, oh, I should have just unlocked that door. I think how terrible honesty, that would feel. I think she felt horrible about of course. it. Of course, she started it. Of course, and then she came down and she was like, everyone's she, done that thing where you are playing, you're and playing around, play, yeah. and then somebody something happens. 
Yeah, and she um she came down. She was the only one. Leanne was like, "You're fine, just don't go to sleep for 15 minutes." And I was like, "I don't." Did that's you not, Google that? Yeah, that's not. She was that's like, no, people, it's 15 minutes." That's what people used to say, like before they had knowledge. Um, yeah, yeah. I was like, and then in the 90s, they would be like, "Just don't go to sleep," and it's not actually true. And then, and then, well, yeah, and then what? And then I stayed up for three hours because so I was like, I was like, I don't know. Um, it says I didn't have any nausea. It didn't hurt. That's the crazy thing. It hurts today, but like it didn't hurt yesterday. I couldn't find out. I couldn't, and I didn't remember where I hit my head. Like I, I felt like I hit it on the side, but and I, but I couldn't. You don't have any uh, nothing. No bruising. No, and nothing sore today. No, uh, my whole body's fucking sore. But your so head's like my not, knees nowhere sore, in your head. My toes sore. There's like a little part right here. What about like, like fogginess? Um, no. I mean, I'm always a little foggy. Yeah. Like I'm always like kind of foggy like yeah. a morning haze yeah um but like <clears throat> i don't isla was the one that was like oh we're going to the emergency room and then leanne was like well if we go to the emergency room we're gonna be there all night they're gonna keep him i was like i have shit to do tomorrow it's funny how you like rationalize yeah. going like i don't want to go to the fucking emergency and the, but all you think about is bob saget yeah and you go he just fell and was like i'll be fine yeah and then so I set an alarm for every 30 minutes. I don't know. The, so the sleeping thing isn't a real thing? No, that's not. It, it was something that they, they, they definitely used to tell you that. And yeah. then um, it definitely changed because I, I remember being, you know, first of all, in the 60s and so it was all like, you know, that. And then in the 90s, I remember like in football, they were just like, well, just don't go to sleep. You can't go to And everybody thought that that was, you know, how to treat yeah. it. And then in recent years, They've said that that is, I mean, I've talked to doctors about it and that it's, it's not true. It's crazy. Cause I, I definitely like, uh, it's, I remember, I remember laughing and I remember coming up and I remember like, I don't know how I hit, like, I don't know. Like I watched the video and as soon as I, it's, it's, a, Leanne's nasty, like, it's a nasty spill, man. Yeah. Leanne's like, you're fine. You're fine. And then Georgia goes, have you seen the video? And we're watching it. And Leanne's like, oh shit. And then that's when I was like, he needs to go to the emergency room right now. And then I was like, I'm fine. But then I was like, Leanne went to sleep and then I'm laying in bed going like, am I fine? Like, yeah. am I fine? Cause I'm like, I don't, rem I really don't remember the, from the fall to getting in the bed. Like if I, the thing that makes me, uh, if, if you know, when you turn over and you're just laying there, yeah. if you stayed laying there, I would definitely agree with Isla. Are I stayed you, laying you, there for a while. That I, I would have been like, you should go to the emergency room. Yeah. It's, if you just like fall and get up, obviously, I, you know, I don't think you need to go. But if you just lay there and you're like, I don't know how I got here. Well, no, no, I, 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 I was, I was really out of it. It's crazy, like, because part of it's the fall. The fall itself throws you off. Where you, like, it's like it's like being in a car accident and not getting hurt, but then you get up and you're kind of in shock a little bit. Of course, like that was a part of it that. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna go get this bitch, and then I run around here, and then they just run in, and they're laughing, and Leanne shuts it, and then, oof. yeah, yeah, that part. Like, if you were like laying there for 30 seconds, I'd be like, I was there. Yeah. For I was there for 30 seconds. I mean, I, I, I would have been like, I went. We I, what definitely happened? go. To Leanne the came out and she's like, okay, and I was like, I was like, I think I fell, or I fell, and then I was like. And he's like, did you lose consciousness? I go, I don't think so. But then what happened is I rolled over. I go, let me just take a nap. I'm gonna let me lay here for a second. She was like, don't fall asleep. I was like, okay. And then I got up and I was like, I need to go get my Fitbit. And she was yeah. like, huh? Like I was out of it. But I, I don't know, you know. The, um, yeah, that's, it's such a Bert believable. It'd be a horrible way to lose you. Like, guess what? Bert stumbled and fell. But then, you know, it's crazy. You know, it's, yeah, and he was, he was just trying to get in his house. Yeah, and the, and his, and you know that when he actually did crack his head, uh, his family was laughing. Yeah, his family was howling. You know, I remember the like the hardest way. <laughs> be to, the fucking saddest thing. That's all I think is like I don't want to die in a way where it's undeniable that it needs to be mocked. Right, right. So like, so uh, yes, of course. Well, like where people go, this. I mean, I. I really feel bad for his family, but I gotta have a fucking field day on this. Yeah. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.